Okay, I have a section here that I'd like to show you about using hard wax. One of the things that technicians and clients both have angst with is getting the edge. And it's all about putting the strip on correctly and understanding the different ways that you can start to remove the strip. So when I hear a client say, I hate hard wax because the professional picked at me, that was just simply because you didn't know how to remove that edge. So I'm going to put a number of strips on my lovely model's arm and I'm going to show you different methods that you can remove the strips. Now, I use different methods in different places and the more you practice, the more you'll understand why you would or when you would use a different method. So let me go ahead and get some wax. I am using the Baradin Blue Wax and I got quite a lot on my spatula on purpose. It needs to be thick enough that it stays on the spatula. That's when you know it's the correct temperature. But I'm going to make a number of strips, like so. So what I want you to see, first of all, is that the strip is even all the way around the edges. This is what makes a really good strip even all the way around the edges. If it gets super thin, that's when it leaves wax behind. So one of the first ways we're going to do it is if you just simply stretch the skin, that strip dang near releases itself. Another method, and it's what I call the daisy chain, is to turn the strip over, press it, and remove it like that. You can do that. It's really good for bikini and Brazilian because you can remove a strip and stick it in in the next. And another way is to get the spatula and just, as you see, the strip almost came off like that and just pull it completely off like that. So I'm going to give you a, another demonstration once again. And I'm gonna do kind of a long strip so you can see more what a properly applied strip looks like. Another thing I will tell you is when you're applying the wax, make sure you use really good pressure. It is the only time that the wax and the hair can get actually bonded to each other is during the application. When you're not putting a strip on and rubbing it, there's no marrying, so to speak, of the wax and the hair. So here, see, just pull like so. That one didn't come off so well, like that. And then you turn it and it's a daisy chain. If you do end up with little bits, it's the top side of the wax that will get that to come off. There you go. I hope that helps. Good luck with your waxing.